Hey everybody, Kelly Sweet Mimi's Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing car freshies. A lot of people have asked for videos for car freshies. So, I was trying to get everything together before I come on. First thing, there's a lot of supplies. Um, I already have beads pre-made. But what you do is you buy your unscented beads. And then you have your and then you have your essential oils okay and what I do is I get a scale and I I do six ounces of beads per one ounce of essential oils and you have it'll take probably about a week um, when you first do them, I don't have any that are fresh, but when you first do them, you'll shake them up. You'll put the beads in here, then you'll put your essential oils, and then you'll shake them up every time you walk by them or whatever. And the way that you know that they're done, when you first shake them up, they'll stick to the jar. These are ready. They're, see how they're not sticking to the jar? Um, so you just constantly shake them until they're no longer sticking to the jar. If you have, after about a week, if they're still sticking to the jar and you have liquid still in here, you may want to add some more beads. It means it's too much liquid. So, hold my breath. So I had to chase my cat out of my craft room and she wouldn't come out. So what I do, I got, I have to do 30, 30 freshies. So, I was trying to get everything together before I come on here. I don't want this to be like an extremely long. I have my oven preheating at 350. That's what I found that does good for me. Um, some people do like five to eight minutes. That's not enough for my oven. My oven, I have to do 10 minutes. Um, so I am going to do 15 vent clip freshies and 15 hanging. And I got my vent clips here and I will list where we where I got everything um but these are my vent clips okay and what I did is I just bought a little rolling cart let me show you a little rolling cart that has all of my stuff on it that way it's easier for me to keep it in one place and it doesn't take up so much room because I do so much many different crafts so let me get my other i have so many scents already done um, i can just kind of mix them up i gotta get my mica powder But yeah, all of these um, pretty much. And I put a date on them. I put the name on them and the date on them so I know when I made them. Like this cocoa butter cashmere. I maybe can make one. That was a popular one. Um, black ice is a popular one for men. I have this blue. That's a popular one for the ladies because it smells like like men cologne. I have polo red, which smells like polo. So I have so many. I have mold cider, um, mahogany, coconut, um, island fresh gain, um, vanilla ombrette. Black raspberry, that was a popular one. Um, gingerbread, I don't think anybody wants any gingerbread or sweater, sweater weather. Um, I had one, um, I thought I made more called Jamaica Me Crazy. That was a very popular one. I need to get more, I think I'm actually out, out of that one. Oh. I have maybe, I don't even know if that'll do one, but that is very popular, Jamaican Me Crazy. 
is so fruity and fresh. Um, red, red lava citrus, fruity pebbles. That was a popular one, which I only got the one ounce jars to see how they would do. So now that I know what my popular ones are, and like my big ones, I have my cookie cutters, I have a Jeep, and then I have the skull. And what I do, and even for the round ones, I go and make some templates for the front of them. Or I can just do color beads. I'll do both and show you. But this is like for my Jeep. Some of my customers wanted Jeeps. And they like the sugar skulls. And then that'll fit in here. What I'll do, I'll show you. I'll cut it out and place it. And then these are for the round ones, which I will just place in my pan. So let me get a little more organized and I will be right back. Okay, I think I'm more organized. Anyway, you're gonna need your beads, which you can buy them already scented. You're gonna need something to bake them in, whether it be, and it has to be oven safe, whether it be a baking pan or a silicone pan. You're gonna need nails, and that, you'll see why that's to put the hole in them. You're gonna need nails. And if you're doing the clips, you're gonna need your clips. Um, and that's pretty much it. The rest of the stuff is kind of like to decorate them, which I have tons of mica powders, because I do tumblers also, so I have tons of mica powders. Um, now like the Yoda ones, I have glow in the dark green. So what I am gonna do is I am gonna pick a, I try to pick a scent that goes with what I'm baking, with what, but sometimes you just don't have any. So we're gonna go with about Fresh Island Dane. So, what I'm gonna do is, some people take and pour their beads in here to measure out how many they need this, or if you're using a cookie cutter. I don't, which I know I should, but I don't. Um, and me, I write down what sense where where I don't get confused. So what I'll do is gain is already somewhat green, so which is fine. It smells so good. Um, so I'm gonna need a bigger container. Hold on and let me go get bigger cups. Here, I'll just use a red solo cup because I'm going to be doing a few of these. So I'm just going to pour in some. And then I'm going to take my mic. A little goes a long way on this. But this is glow in the dark, so I tend to overdo. So I'm going to do more than I did. I put three, but you don't need that much. My stir stick. And I'm going to stir it up. And what it, what it's going to do is make the color of whatever powder you put in there. So just mix it well. Now these are going to be my vent clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill up because these will melt down. So with these, I'm gonna fill oops, all the way to the top. 
because these will melt down and you don't want them to be down to nothing. And I'll just put make how many ever's in this cup, which looks like maybe four. So you want to spread it to where, because these have little pointers in the ears, so I want to get down in the ears. I want it to look good. Oh, maybe one more. There we go. All right, so. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna make five of those. So now you're gonna take your clips. You're gonna go ahead and put them in. But like the nails, you would put the nails in first. With the clips, you don't want them going all the way through. So you're gonna take the flat end and you're just gonna kinda of squeeze it in there and cover it up where it'll stand on its own, kind of in the middle. And you're gonna do each one that way. Now the nails, if you were doing nails, you would wanna put those in first because the holes because you want holes for your hanging. And these particularly, you don't want to, you don't want to see these on the other side. Oops, that one is wrong. Which I may have to put a little more beads where I can cover it more. So let's put a little more just around it to secure it. Let's see. Because you really don't want these. touching the car because it will stain. So you don't want to try and make them. Okay. So now I'm going to put these in the oven. Let me find a pan, a straight pan. This is a pan I've dedicated to making my beads. I don't use it for anything else. So I'm just gonna put this on here. And then straighten up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put more on here and do a lot at one time. So give me just a minute, I'll be right back. What I did is went and got some parchment paper this is a old pan that I've had and I just don't want anything to stick to the pan. No. Oh shoot. Let me get this straight. But my house smells so good when I do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a Jeep and a skull. So I already have my cutouts. So let me show you how I do that. Now I could take the time and color like, didn't do one right yet, but I could take the time and put like black beads for the tires and then pink for, but um, I still may do that, but I did the cutouts. 
instead for this time. But I've got to make so many, so I'm going to make more. So I may just color those with the mica powders. I try to make them pretty, per se. Give you something nice to look at while you're while it's hanging in the car and not just a plain crushy. So I'm just cutting out, I should have already done this, but cutting out the skull. And this is on cardstock. So what I do is I take and I put it on the bottom like that. And then when I take the beads and oh, anyway, you turn this face down where the image is down. You put the cookie cutter over it, and then, let's see, um, we've already used gain, um, let's use, let's use mold cider, that's like a, I don't know, it's it's hard to tell. It's like a spring, a spring scent. And it already has a yellow, so I'm not really gonna tint anything, so I'm just gonna pour it in. Oh, almost forgot. This is where you'll need your nail. Okay, I'm gonna put it up at the head, at the top, because that's where you wanna hang it from. This will come from your mirror, so I'll just pour in here. And I'm going to fill it up almost all the way. Because remember, these do melt, so they will, it will shrink down some. So these will be some thick freshies. All right, so we'll do one skull. Sorry, I'm writing them down where I do not forget. The Jeep. And I only have one cookie cutter of each. So, it takes a little bit longer. But my customer likes the skull and the Jeep. So, I'm going to cut out my Jeep. And I did the pink Jeep. I don't know how many men are going to have these, actually, freshies hanging in their car. But I do have a tractor trailer. I do have a tractor trailer um, cookie cutter because my husband's a tractor trailer driver. So I um, made one for him to go in his truck. He's always coming home wanting to know when it's going to ease up some because that thing is strong, he said. Like, well, can't really promise I don't know. I just make them where they last. Now, this little Jeep picture is a little off. So, let me trace it because I got to flip it over. Okay, so let's use Island Fresh Gain. I may have enough. So Island Fresh Gain. That smells good too. With a nail. 
So I'm gonna put the nail probably like somewhere up near the roof. And then I'm gonna, to we'll probably take this whole jar, which is not a lot. I tend to make my freshies thick. So now these are going to go in the oven for about eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. I usually do ten. So I got my timer going for ten. Okay, so now I got to make more little vents. Oops. So I think I'm going to do just some round ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these round ones out to fit in here. I've already done all the measuring and whatever pan you get is what you'll have to measure and save them because if you don't save them, Oh, that is a hassle to have to re-do all over. So, which I should have already cut these. But... And then you lay them face down. And once you, you see, you, you want them about a little bit shorter than the circle. And then I need to punch a hole in it because these are going to have nails. Because these are going to be hanging ones because these are going to be pretty, pretty thick. So let me go get my hole punch. Okay, so we're just going to hole punch just kind of where we want to hang it from. And your nail, pointy side up, flat side down because that's the side. So I'm just going to pour that in there. I mean, put that in there. So I'll just kind of change these up this time. Farmer Life Pink Out. With the little messy bun, those seem to be very favorite. So these aren't circles, but you can make them. Yeah. So then you're gonna hole punch again wherever. Oops. Then you're gonna get your nail. And you're going to put it just like this, face down. This goes face down. Okay. And let's do farmer life. I'm down south, but I have a lot of customers. Some customers in Pennsylvania and up that way. So, um... Forms. Trying to make it as circle as I can. Okay. Again, I mean it's time consuming, but if you want them to be, let's see, pretty, which I like mine to be. Us girls, we like pretty things. 
So let me see if I can get my dog print. That may be too big. Because I know everybody likes their animals. Or not everybody, but for the animal lovers out here. Okay. I did a pink and a black. My nails don't quit. And these take no time. I mean, it's the, the longest that it takes is the cooling down process. Now, like today, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. It's 50 degrees. You know, it'll never get that cold here. So, which I'm loving it though. So I, um, what I'll do is I'll set these outside and, um, Sometimes you got to trim off a little bit more. Um, instead of the normal 30 minutes, it'll probably take 10 minutes. It'll probably take 10 minutes to um, cool down, which you want them completely cool. And I'll show you because they won't stick. And you can just take them out, like especially the cookie cutters. Now the circles, those won't be as bad, but the cookie cutter ones, you want those to be completely cooled off because it'll be way easier to get the cutter off of them. So one more, let's do one more. I don't know what scents I'm gonna use, but I try to send at least two cents per, because I'm sending these to a lady who sells them on her show, on her lives. So, all right. I don't know how I'm gonna number these. Let's see, paw print. Hold on, pink. All right. Okay, former life. All right, this is where I have to write this down. Where I don't. Okay, so blue western. All right, um, these we're gonna color. We're gonna color these. We're out of the game. Let's do the um, black raspberry. That, okay. So we're gonna make, where's my, okay, that has a little green in it. We're gonna make this, let's see. Choosing the color is the hardest. Um, about a cotton candy color. Put a cotton candy color in there. So we're gonna do two of those. And again, I estimate some people will take and pour them in there and pour them back. If I do too much, then I'll just do a third one or put it back. But again, you put your mica powder in there. You don't have to put anything in there. You don't have to make it colorful at all. See, so I put the cotton candy in there. So I'm gonna pour it in. These I'll do about halfway. Got a little green in it. Still had a little green from the glow in the dark. 
So you want to make sure you get good around the nail. Okay. So we, that was, what was this one? Black Raspberry. Okay, let's do, um, um, I don't know if that will be enough for one. Let's do sliced apple cinnamon. This one's already a little colored. Mahogany coconut. Let's do mahogany coconut. That smells good. So, mahogany, brown, coconut. Let's see what color. Why don't we just use this gold color? That's my timer. For the first batch we have in there. So let me take those out and set them up my front door to cool off. I'm in apartments and these fire alarms are so super sensitive it's annoying so anyway we're going to use the gold for the mahogany coconut So they will be smoking when they come out your oven. And you can't tell, but there's like this shimmer to it. Oh, it's not enough for me. More in here. I like some color in mine. Okay. Anyway. This has that shimmer. I'm going to pour them in again. There's a lot this time. And you want to kind of go in with your finger and flatten them down. Okay. And that was mahogany coconut. Let's do blue. That is such a soothing. Electric blue. We will do an electric blue. Um, even big enough. Let me get another. Okay. Blue.
okay. I've already got my nails in there. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in there. Way, or I do you can fill it up if you want and there's there's that So let me put this by here so I don't forget what's what. That's blue. And then mahogany for the leftovers. Because I got more I gotta do. So these will go in the oven for 10 minutes. cool off and I will be back when they get cool. Alright, the first batch has cooled off, which these are a little crooked. You have to make sure that they're straight, but it's it's alright for this, this batch. So, all you do is you pop them out and there's your little see what I mean about how you don't want it to go all the way through, but there's your little Yoda. You can't see the face on there, but maybe see the face on there. But you can also decorate that. And these little shards, you can either cut them off. Or you can keep them on there. Let's do one more. But that's all you do is the silicone molds that you just... And there, I don't know if you can see, see the face right there? And then, so those are the Yoda ones. And then these are different. These are the, these are a little bit harder. You have to pull them away, kind of, from the mold. hear that and, and you just want to be careful and not stretch your mold though but you just got to be careful sometimes you can just take a little blade in there and just go across the edge there or you don't well, that's not gonna work um, I usually use, uh, I usually just use a butter knife and I'll go in here and um, just takes a minute because the, the cookie cutters are a little bit harder than the silicone molds course the silicone silicone molds just come right on out so and then there we go and then of course that's overlapping so we can just kind of like cut that just trim it down however you want and then there's your Jeep. Now, I did forget to punch the hole through there for the nail. But 
normally you just um, normally you can just grab the nail and twist it around and it comes out through the other side but me I forgot to do the hole so it'll be a little bit and two, if it doesn't come out, all you got to do is just heat it up. You can see the little round part. Um, try not to tear up my little. But see how the paper, it just sticks on there. But yeah, I totally forgot to. Um, but um, we got to cut a hole there. And then here's my skull. Let's see if he breaks away. Yeah, he's gonna break away pretty easy there. And then there's my skull. There's the back. And again, I totally forgot to. But you see the shards there? I like to cut mine off on some of them, depending on what the mold is. But that's um that's pretty much it um which I will show you my, when I get done with them what they look like I gotta figure out a way to cut that where it doesn't mess up my paper but again the paper it bakes on there so it's not coming off it's not coming off that's why you lay it down in in it and um and um, pretty much, you know, there you go. So you just, um, yeah, it takes a little bit more on some molds to come out. Let's get this paper off. And these will glow, will glow in the dark. I'll try and get them in some light and then put them in some dark for you and we'll see if it works. Hopefully, I put enough in there where it'll work. I like the glow in the dark. So we'll just pull the rest of these out. These didn't turn out like I thought they would. I may have to do decorate them next time. Or I can still, you can still go back and actually um, paint them, decorate them somehow, paint them however you want to. I still may do that. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, um, you can still um, trim, trim that up, of course, and you can still paint the back if you wanted to. But um, normally they're going to be hanging from here up. So next time I may just do the wheels. I may do that next. I'm going to make one more of those. And then I got another skull. I'm going to make the skull turned out pretty good. So um, I'm going to go set these on the porch. The sunlight's out there. Let the sun get to these. Maybe they'll glow and bring the other batch from outside if they're cool and i will be right back okay the round ones are done so see oops i'm getting quite melt not sure what happened there but there's the round ones and see these just pop out because you have a I mean, I don't know why these are popping out. Never had that happen. Hmm. It looks like they didn't click in the center. So what I may do is put these back in and bake them a little bit longer. Because I've never had that happen. 
but um let's see for one all right like this one this one got done in the middle that's the front and with the nail see how it's all the way through and really all you have to do is just wiggle it and there it comes and you just pull it out and now you have your hole to do your decorations which I will show you that at the very end of the video I apologize this video being so long but it's the only way to get detailed I don't know how to fast forward the boring part so you have to do that yourself um I'm not all savvy with the videos yet but pretty much you know you can make them however color them paint them which I will show you the skulls I will show you everything at the end once they're decorated and what I decided to do and again these little edges right here you can either cut them off and make it smooth or you can leave it like it is I like sometimes on some of them to leave them like they are so um but that's pretty much I will link everything below where I got everything um but yeah I mean it's pretty it's pretty simple hmm. Yeah, I will rebake these for another three to four minutes. I'm not sure what happened there. But these are real easy and simple to make. And my house smells so good. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. Or look me up at Sweet Mimi's Homemade Crafts on Facebook. Sweet Mimi's Creations on TikTok. So, subscribe to my YouTube if you, if you like. Um, I would like more subscribers. But... You know, if not, then I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope it helps. Thank you.